Raymond van Barneveld had to play really well to knock him out yesterday. He's been in magnificent form. He's got the throw here. How will he start? Day two in Hildesheim. 97. Bio's got a tour card now. 18. Yeah, pretty comfortable at Q School. It was for Puha. I was just sort of reading a little bit about him and good golfer apparently and you know where he's from he didn't necessarily know a lot of the big reputations of players in dart he knew the likes of van gogh and etc etc he said he mainly just focused on what he can do but penny for his thoughts like i say when he saw that draw first of all i was chatting to a couple of the players last night and they said not everyone's like you glenn we don't all look at the draw you know and worry we just get our partners our friends to say you're on board three on third Maybe that's the way Puha looked at things. Yeah, he's building up experience, isn't he, at the minute? And it is, you know, different level playing in these week in, week out, or month in, month out. Yeah, well, four of the five players' championships. Kopai has lost in the first round, but he did have a run to the last 32 in players' championship. Four wins over. Herat and Nathan Rafferty who's now to Chizzy in that one but like you said he's the getting the opportunity 45. to play the best players in the world you can find out rather than just be playing in the World Series of Darts and, and wondering I, I think someone like Damon Hetter's really inspired Puha yeah. and all the good friends and like I said to you yesterday I don't think the story of Damon Hetter's really hit the headlines like it should do it's hope we get to see him on the stream um, sort of this weekend as well 96. Yeah, well, Anderson, not a uh, prolific start to this game. And the finish won't go here, so it's going to leave it handy enough. Treble 16, the target. So, the big fish. Now then. Well, you're here. Hope you may as well take it. Oh, he does. Magnificent. Breaker throw. Well, he might not have been too happy with the draw, but he'll be happy with that finish. That was brilliant. Yeah, definitely the moment of the of the day so far. And fair play. Looking at the reaction of Anderson as well. Just always magnanimous and just a little pat on his thigh there. Not a great deal of emotion from the man from New Zealand, but yeah, what a sensational finish. Could be the wake-up call for this man. You get the feeling Gary Anderson, he, he doesn't mind losing legs to bits of brilliance like that. But now he's got to follow it up. 100. Steady turn, but Anderson will be looking to break straight back here. A yeah, couple of good wins on the other boards. One there for Jamie Hughes as well. I was chatting with Jamie yesterday, really concerned about his inconsistency in his game. And, I said he'd be Pascal Ruprecht today. Really, really pleased for him. 140. Tibor call with a good win, 98 average. Kevin Dutes. Watch out for that name. Honestly, I think he's playing really, really well. Just seems to be getting better week in, week out as well. And uh, you know, good for him. Another good win today over Vessel Nyman. Yep. Who are here? 60. He's down to a finish. Anderson looking to join him. And he will now on the back of that maximum well, visit. So Poor's just taking out the big fish. He's looking at 142. This one won't go. Could start in the bullseye. So what you're doing, you pretty much guarantee yourself in the dart of the bullseye. Doesn't need to move. Oh, what a treat we're having here. 170 in the first one from Puha. And a sublime 95 finish. No reaction from either. Game on. That first dart was magnificent, wasn't it? He couldn't probably couldn't have placed that any better. It's pretty old school to be starting in the bullseye. A lot of the players back themselves now to, to hit a treble. 
uh, with a finish you know, in the 90s and 80s these days. So it's a pretty old school finish there. So we're on throw. That's a nice visit from Pua there. Yeah, played at the World Championships this year, did Poor Pai. Lost to Martin Lukeman, who's been a real success story in the past 18 months, two years on the PDC circuit. Now living in London and yeah, getting all Six dreams six come six true, playing the best players in the world. Right, so Ricky Evans just getting underway. Johnny Clayton against Roby John Rodriguez. Oscar Lukusiak is taking out the first leg against Joe Cullen. Yeah, the big seeds into the fray roundabout now, so we'll keep you updated with some of them. Michael Van Gogh has opened up nicely for the 15 data in the first one. Yeah, Ross Smith, who was uh, beaten semi finalist yesterday, he's averaged 107 in his opening three legs. He's 3 0 up over Keen Barry. Josh Rocker went out early yesterday, he's in trouble. Romeo Gerbovac, 3 2 up in that one. Max here be useful. 180. Putting Gary Anderson under some real pressure here. Yeah, Gandalf starting treble 17, gets it. Loves double 12. 63. Maybe not today. Mm, the deflection. Are we about to get a third successive break of throw? Is it the treble? So double four needed. Big dart early on in this contest. And he's missed it. You wonder if hitting the treble there, maybe just put him off a moment. Oh, we'll see. Gary thought that was in. He can't believe it hasn't gone in, and it's looking like it's causing him a bit of a problem. And the deflection was wicked, and now he's moving along that hockey, left and right. He had to go for the top good. part of the bed. That's the only bit he could see. I thought he would have just wide that angle again. Too hard, double two. Moving on to the next streaming board to get this in, Glenn. And he can't do it. Strictly come darting. Yeah. So, no miss doubles. Double three. Gets it. Poor well, there. Six darts he missed to break the throw. Can't be wasting opportunities like that against a man like Gary Anderson. Well, Gary Anderson's winning this game, averaging 80 at the moment. I said in my opening line that his previous win over Hope I, he had an 84 average that certainly won't happen today what do I know 60 no. it's all about getting through 100 he doesn't give too much away does he Hope I, with his facial expression it's pretty rock solid Gary thinks about that as he trudges up to get his darts out of the board. The Van Dijven board a 3 0 up over Mensa Sulevic. Yeah, I thought that was the game of the first round, that one. It's great to see Dirk playing so much better again, and that shoulder injury seems to be managing it so much better and beginning to pull some really good numbers again. Good times for Dirk. Yeah. 95. Well, we saw earlier on that. Brendan Dolan averaged over 108 and went out. Well, Ricky Evans is averaging 105 and he's 2 0 down to Ryan Searle. Max incoming. Not quite, but in good order here. Puha. Yeah, I'm trying to give some sort of defence. Maybe the only thing I can think for Gary here, the pace is maybe not suiting. You know, to the opening game of the day as well. He looks a little bit fidgety behind. That's an issue. Man. He's playing absolute darts from the gods right now. And this is just one of those games. Sometimes you just have to win ugly. Yep. Oh, well, chance to level up here. Now he missed six in the last leg. Can he take it out this time? Game yes, close. he can. He couldn't have put that any better in the top bed, and it is two-two. He's methodical, isn't he, Popeye? 
Yeah, he's a interesting, like I said, absolutely loves his golf. And he's up against a player at the moment who's below par. Do you like that one, Mark? Impressed. 58. Very impressed, Glenn. Quite clicking for Gary at the moment. As you said, he is allowed the odd game under 100. 43. It's only fair in the rest of the players, isn't it, to be fair? Yeah. Damon Hetter, we mentioned him earlier on. He's 2 0 up over James Hurrell. And Stephen Bunting, who got to the final yesterday, he's taking on Scott Williams. So he's taking out the opening leg bunting there. I mean, Hetta lost to James Hurrell yesterday and as I arrived in the building a couple of hours ago. I think he knew what the situation was. A great chance of revenge. I remember losing a game once and uh, to Cristo Reyes and he got the chance the next day. It's weird sometimes how the draw works. I mean, Owen Roloff's plays Adam Hunt in the first round. Exactly the same as yesterday. Yeah. So good chance for Hetta to get that revenge. Yeah. Well, Gary... Possible 14 dart hold of throw here. Who are not threatening at all in this leg. Tops needed. And Eight tops one. delivered by Gary Anderson. Yeah. Performance at the moment is that Ross Smith 5 0 up, averaging just shy of 105. Once again, showed yesterday. Six. Such a big score, and when he gets his finishing going as well, he's the all round package, Ross Smith. And one of those players, Mark, that you've mentioned, who will really fancy his chances today. Yeah. 131. I mean, you, we mentioned that there are, you know, some of the Premier League stars are not here, but it is a title to be won. And there's plenty who think they can take it out. And there's another maximum. But, yeah, Dom Taylor threw away a game yesterday. Incredible loss from a, a big lead, and he's 5 2 up, averaging over 105 against Christopher Tachki, who averaged 113 himself yesterday. Dave Chisnell taking on Cameron Menzies, 1 1 there. Ricky Evans is on the comeback, 3 2 now against Ryan Searle. Gary Anderson. Fills the bed, and leaves himself on a finish. 1 6 1 then for Poirot, took out. The big fish. Seems an eternity ago, doesn't it, that he took that out in leg one? 99. Yeah, different challenges. We've seen so many players really lightning quick. And to be fair, Puha is just that more methodical player, just means it's a different challenge. 50. Anderson went the bull route there and it didn't pay off. So Puha here, a chance to hold. 10, not quite. Single 20, right in the middle. Double 16 for 3-3. Three, three. Clinical. I just felt it had to go. Once again, Gary Anderson didn't watch any of them darts go in, so when he heard game shot, that would have been a big move for Gary Anderson, but back on throw. Well, we've just seen both players check out 62 in the last two legs, going completely different ways. That's in a nutshell. 84. Michael Van Gerwen racing away. 5 1 up over Owen Bates. And Josh Rock has gone out for the second successive time in the opening round. Romeo Gerbovac has beaten him 6 4. So, not a good day nice for Josh. Not a good trip to Hildesheim for him either. Finding his scoring boots, Gary Anderson now. Taking his average well over the 90 mark. Yeah. And he knows, of course, Glenn, he doesn't have to worry about the Puha throw if he can hold his own throw. He won the ball at the start, and that might ultimately see him over the line here. Can't quite check out the 81. Yeah, it's the only 
issue I have with the treble 18 double four that if you go inside the four then you go in the realms of the the twos and the dreaded ones 100 but Anderson will prove me wrong this will go in first start Short. Gets there in the end, and he's 4-3 up. Dirk van Dijvermoer, a 5-0 up over Mensah Suljevic, who's averaging only 77 at the moment. It was only a few weeks ago that Mensah was looking just so good and looked like he'd really bounced back with his game. Damon Hetter, 2 all now with James Hurrell. Yeah, I enjoyed my time with James last night and Jamie Hughes. Chatting about our old BDO days. James Hurrell was just waxing nice. lyrical about the PDC. I thought it, it wasn't his type of scenario, but he's travelling with his partner now and he's just loving everything about it. Former England captain, obviously, in the WDF system. Loving every moment. It's an interesting part of life these days as a professional darts player you've got to be prepared to travel and there's an investment when you bring family with you Glenn it costs money doesn't it and you've got to make it pay but there can be such a help as well interesting enough Damon Hetter's part is not here and I think she plays a huge part Ryan Searle is 5-2 up now over Ricky Evans Searle who reached a couple of finals earlier on Seems to have put the afterburners on as Gary Anderson right now. He's going to leave this pretty. 89. And we're just beginning to see Gary Anderson produce the darts we expected from the beginning. 95. 32 points away from a big 5 3 lead. Yep. 13 dart leg incoming. 14 maybe. Oh, he's got fortunate there. Double four. Well, he, he has got lucky there because that could have gone spectacularly wrong. The deflection went in single eight and he tidies it up to move within one of the match. Yeah, his good friend Ryan Searle, another 100 plus average. He's through against a cracking game against Ricky Evans. 100. Some fantastic numbers being posted at the moment. Another brilliant game between Dave Chisnell and Cameron Menzies. That's 2-2. Two -two. Both averaging over 107. Ricky went out early yesterday as well, didn't he? So, tough trip for him after his exploits at the UK Open. And Anderson, I think, has decided that enough is enough and he needs to get his skates on for a place in round two. I think Pooh Harb is slightly disappointed if Gary does get over the winning line. When you play Gary, you don't expect it to be average round about the 90 mark 90 these days. Mark. That should give you an opportunity to, to beat him. But like you said, you don't win matches, 100 averages every single time. Gary will move on. And Gary will play. If he gets over the winning line, he'll play the win of our next game. Richie Burnett or Brett Clayton. So he'll fancy his chances there. He will. Well, Puar kicked off proceedings with a big fish. He's looking at 1-4-3 to stay in the match. And he's not going to get to a double here. So Anderson, match darts incoming. 60. 67 he needs. Treble 17. Hit double eight for the match. Double four. 59. Mm, an opening for Hopai Pua. Yeah, I was about to say, double four's been good to him in this match. You can just see he's pretty frustrated that Puha didn't expect to come back. Maybe the 16 bed for a bullseye he's been here before. Seemed a long time ago, that 170, that bullseye. Chance for Anderson to see it out. Yeah, double four, been pretty good up this end of the board. Double two. One dart left for Gary Anderson. And he misses, so there is hope for Hopi. 1-1. One, one. Game 
snapshot. And quite simply, those chances have to go on fair play to Puha. That was a difficult second dart. Covered a lot of that double eight bed. Yeah, and just look at Gary Anderson behind there. A little rifle shake of the head. He just probably wants to get off this hockey right now and start planning his attack. But Puha just does what he does. And a game can twist so quickly from being out of this competition, virtually putting his darts away. about to say has become a big favourite for this leg but Gary Anderson spectacular return yeah 180s apiece well that would have been very interesting had that gone in still could be 180 he hasn't been his brilliant best in this match is he saving a brilliance? All for one leg here. But fair play to Puha. He's going to leave himself in a fantastic position for 5-5. Five, five. He is. Well, I got to call in a nine yesterday, Glenn. Let's do it, Gary. And his immediate thought nice. process, not about the nine, he needs to win the leg here. Can Puha take us to a decider? Now put the mockers on Pooh Hyde. This is what this methodical pro he's usually good in this type of scenario. You can't practice for this one dart now. Has he got it? Yes, he has. Wow. You can practice all your life, but for moments like that, you just need that little bit of X factor. You just need that little bit of composure. Five five, we're going all the way. We are going all the way. He's been steady, hasn't he? Pooh Hart, but he's got to find now. A big leg, and Anderson opens up with a 140. Another one of those will be more than useful. 100. Yeah, he's had some big moments in his career, Puha. Represented his country in the World Cup, so many oceanic titles. This must be up there if he can get over the line, but Gary Anderson, even despite the fact, he just seems to find that brilliance when he really most needs to. Super response. It's amazing how many times the good players, when they need it, yeah. they find it. Puha, as we mentioned, has put up a good fight today, but Anderson, just a visit or so away from victory now, you feel. Yeah, there's only one winner you feel when you look at that scoreline there. All Puha can do is hope over expectation. He really needed a maximum here. It's not to be chance for Anderson 60. 76 and for the match and a place in round two double eight he needs double four again and 60. a miss again but Puha will be ruining the fact he's not a bit nearer yeah I think that's a wry smile there from Puha he's just too far away on 258 you don't expect Anderson to be missing a, a, about with it again but you can put some pressure on it 100 well he is on a finish albeit a big one Double four though for the match. Double two. Game and shot. he gets it. He gets there in the end, Gary Anderson. He's been hitting the big numbers for fun in recent months. He didn't quite get to that level today. Nowhere near it, truth be told, but he is through. And that's all that counts. It went to a deciding leg, but Gary Anderson just had too much there. 94.86 the average, six 180s, 24% on the doubles. He's beaten Hope I Poor. Six legs to five.